Yeah, Ferruzio, meanwhile, doesn't look as happy or no. as focused as he has done previously. He knows that he's in a difficult position. Okay, and that pawn does pawn. drop. Black is a pawn up. OK, so this is Ferruzio's idea. Okay. Initiate chaos. OK. Sneaky. So he's trying to conquer the eighth rank, so he's trying to get to that black king by brute force. He's trying to eliminate black's rook, eliminate black's dark square bishop, and uh, find his way to that black king. Mm -hmm. So there's lots of tricks and traps in the air, because, you know, the most natural move for me would be like, hey, capture the rook. Mm -hmm. And after that, you're kind of like, eh, and I'm going to capture the knight, yeah. attacking the rook. But that would not quite work, because then uh, we'd have some tricks in the air, right? Yeah, we have to show these we tricks. We definitely do. If Black takes the rook, as Yovanka mentioned, the most obvious move, White is winning. And he's done oh, it. done it. It's a turnaround. Let's keep an eye on the players while we show this, because now White is winning. This is just too much danger. He had to just defend his rook. He should have just defended here instead of taking with his rook, maybe defend it with the king, for example. But now, suddenly, a turnaround in one move. and. OK, this pin is just too strong. You didn't have time to take the knight because the white bishop comes forward attacking and attacking, double attack. Black's knight has stepped back. And now I think white has a few strong moves. But look at this. You can just bring your rook across, away from the attack. Look at it. Yeah, Stockfish <laughs> confirms. White's best move, bring the rook to the corner, attack the black queen. The black queen's almost trapped. If you, slide, if you sidestep, the white bishop comes in and you simply checkmate the black king. The black king is caught in a pin. This bishop is dropping next move and it's game over. Wow. If White finds this move, it, uh, Alireza, he's striking back in the current position. He just needs, in this position, to bring his rook across. Yeah. Huge development. And he's done it. OK, it's on the board. And Artemiev shaking his head as well. He knows that he's blundered this away. One move due to time pressure, and it's all turned around. He went from winning to losing in just one careless move.